Good evening, everyone. Yesterday, I did a test with some dice to see if they were balanced by floating them in salt water. Today, I have decided to use a set of digital calipers to measure the thickness of dice to see how uniform they are across the 10 pairs of faces. Why am I measuring dice? Well, when you make a die, one of the steps is to dip it in paint and let it dry, then drop it in a rock tumbler. This removes all the paint except for what is in the numbers and it rounds the dice out, removing the flashing and the sprue from the injections. This also causes a variation in the thickness of the dice. Game science dice are not done this way at all. This is why they're called precision dice because their thickness is mainly uniform across the entire die. Um, also with rounded edges it causes the die to roll more which makes it find its center of gravity a lot easier and if the balance on your die is bad then it's going to find that one number that it's always been rolling for you, whether it be high or low. Now, for this test, I've used three higher quality Chessex D20s, and as a control, I've used a D12 from Game Science. I apologize that I didn't use my D20 from Game Science. It's tied up doing something else. What I'm looking at is the difference between the largest and smallest measurement. I'm not going to record myself taking these measurements because it's pretty boring. But I will put the measurements up on this video. And to let you know, I measured each side of the die at least twice just to make sure I was getting the right number. Now, I'll start with the Chessex dice first. I had a green die that had a difference of 0.4 millimeters, a gray die that had a difference of 0.47, and then a blue die that had a difference of 0.5. Now, when I measured those three die, I was like, well, half a millimeter shouldn't be too bad. But then I pulled out the game science die and I measured it and it had a difference of 0 0.04, which really is a big difference. And um, to me, I think that's why I'm always going to stick with actually playing with game science dice. I do love Chessex dice because they're really pretty and I still will buy them to have on hand in case somebody needs dice. But for me, it's always going to be game science. Now, I'm here I'm going to post the results and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.